why is this not streaming? Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. Hello, everyone. We're back in Enshrouded. If I recall, uh, at least at the time of this stream, I mean, it's literally been like a month since I've been able to play. So um, this could be a learning experience again for me. Um, the last time I got to play, um, I started getting some, some gear that would help me become more of a, a mage. Um, where's my, how do you open the character thing? So this is the thing. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I'm gonna have to re reteach myself how to play this game. But, uh, yeah, I have myself a little wizard hat here. Uh, or the alchemist apprentice hat, but we're gonna call it a wizard hat. Let's see. Still just got my, my fur armor and fur gloves, but I've got my alchemist apprentice trousers and an alchemist apprentice boots. So basically, we're making our way to creating like a full set of wizard armor. Um, oh gosh, what the... You jerk, you absolute jerk. Gonna jump me while I'm trying to recap the last couple of streams. What a jerk. But no, we're, uh, yeah, we're, we're trying to, to go all in on the mage build. And, um... And let's see, part of that involves... Sorry, I really am having to reacquaint myself with this game. Because uh, we have, let's see, our... Oh, what's this guy's name? Oh, what's his name? What's his name? He's the blacksmith. I just don't remember what his name is. Don't waste your breath. Uh, okay, he'll tell me what to do. And then we, we did see... We did get the alchemist guy. And this is where... Spiritual cane. Interesting. Okay. But yeah, this is where we can buy the, uh, I, I guess I need the, what is it I need? I need the pants and the, the chest piece, I think, but, okay, so for that we're gonna need bone meal and string and metal scraps and all sorts of other supplies and things, so, I would definitely love to be able to put together that whole set of, uh, wizard clothes, so, um, oh, no. Okay, so you put things away. Um, I would love to be able to put together this whole set and start optimizing my magic usage. So that's going to be my first goal for today's stream. Definitely going to try and uh, get, as as my friend Sam Bochelle said, who frequents this chat, uh, that hobbit armor drip that, that was his those were his words <laughs> so <clears throat> excuse me uh things are looking up for this for this playthrough um i was able to get like a lot of good materials the last time i streamed i, I did a lot of adventuring as well um uh, and obviously we got a lot done because i was able to go free uh what was his name balthazar i think balthazar is the alchemist or, uh, wait, I have a summoning staff, right? It's the, oh wait, do I have it on me still? I might not have it on me. Um, and then there was the, the rude blacksmith guy. The very demanding rude blacksmith, but, um, yeah, we, we were making some good progress last time. So, uh, I want to check just one more time what I need for all this stuff. So I need string, bone meal. Does, can he make bone meal? Or can I make bone meal? Hold on. You uh, no. Bone meal? I thought I could make bone meal. How do you make bone meal? I mean, I had to have gotten bone meal from somewhere, right? Because I have the hat and the boots and the uh, gloves. So, yeah, somewhere along the way, I had some. I had some. Uh, I will bone pray meal. for your safety. Oh, that's so sweet. Crap, what's the 
character. Oh, N. N is character. Good grief. You guys, seriously, I am going to have to <laughs> work really hard to... Oh, I already have the pants. I need the uh, the gloves and the, the, the chest piece. Okay. I really don't need to forget that uh, and start wasting resources. All right. So, um, yeah, bone meal, metal scraps. Ah, do I have metal scraps? I might have used them all up getting this stuff, but let's double check. Shroudwood, I have metal sheets, but no metal scraps, bones. Yeah, I would, come on, can I not turn this into bone meal? If not, where did I get bone meal before? Because I had some. Oh, there are metal scraps, that's good. Ah, nope. Let's see. Guys, my memory is terrible with this type of stuff, because I... I, I'm an external processor, so I feel, if I, I feel like if I don't say this out loud, I'm going to forget it. So I need torn cloth, string, bone meal, and metal scraps. I need string and torn cloth. I should have plenty of torn cloth as well. I think. Right? I would imagine so. I don't think I would have been using torn cloth for anything else. Yeah, okay, here we go. I was like, I know I have some of that. I've been collecting it for a while. Okay, so if I can make bone meal out of this, I actually might have all the materi materials that I need. Alright, um... Can I not break this stuff down? I guess not. Oh, I have string. There we go. Oh, and bone meal. <laughs> okay. Um... Okay. Let's see. Plant fiber. That's how you get string. Okay. So I'm going to venture a guess <clears throat> that. Well, hold on. Can make string for sure. Let's just see what, what it looks like I have and don't have. Bone meal. Yeah, literally the only ingredient I'm missing here is bone meal. How do you make bone meal, though? That's the question. Uh, hang on. Is there anything here I can... Bone block. No, that's not it. Let's see. Well, maybe I can... Let's see what's like. Construction hammer. Uh, build no. Man, I, uh, I don't remember anything about this game. <laughs> how do you build... How do you build, like... Uh, like, what was this thing I built for whatever his name is? Um, this little um, forge. Like, how do I build a forge? How, do I, how did I build this thing uh, like how, how did I build any of this um I don't remember like truly I I don't remember uh hmm ah, how do I do this how do I do this this is the that's the crafting oh boy this is embarrassing it's so embarrassing Okay, can I build anything from his inventory? Flint st Oh, you know what? Yep, I bet I need a grinding stone. I, I would bet money that's what I need. So I needed 15 stone and 10 flint stone? <laughs> I need a TV show from the 50s? Do I have flint stone? Oh, I gotta, I gotta have some. I'm almost certain you get that from the ground when you mine. Yeah, here we go. Sweet. There's stone. There's flint stone. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now let's... Hello, sir. I'd like to build a grindstone. Woo! All right. So. There we go. Now. Can I put this just back here? I'm, I'm going to fix this up one day, by the way. Um... I'm not just going to leave this place a, a hot mess. Okay. Okay. Bones go in here. And you can make 
bone meal. Very good. So, you get two bone meal for every bone, so I don't know, man. Why don't we just combine those, move these back over. Just make a bunch of bone meal, or at least enough to get me the armor. And I guess enough to give me a decent supply. And then I'll have my my hobbit armor drip. And then I can go do some more adventuring. Okay, but that felt good. I'm glad I, uh, <laughs> rather painstakingly, was able to figure that out. I know it was a little clunky at times. Uh, and uh, do apologize if you were looking for uh, more immediate, uh, immediately experienced gameplay, then uh, I apologize. <laughs> You're not going to enjoy what you see. But this is meant to be entertaining, and I do my best to keep things entertaining. And there is nothing more entertaining than watching bone meal get created. Man, what a what what a ride. What an exciting mission we have on our hands. Okay, Balthazar, can I build anything yet? Ooh, can I make the gloves? Now let me double check that the gloves are something that I need. Fur gloves. Okay, sweet. Yes, I can make the gloves. Let's do it. Sweet! Look at that. Pray for your safety. Oh, I pray for yours as well, sir. Man, this is great. Got my, uh... Got my Alchemist Apprentice gloves. They even give me, like, better armor. Like, physical resistance, but magical resistance as well. Fantastic. I love it. This is great. Magical resistance, Alchemist, magic damage multiplier is always good. Magic critical chance strike. That's going to be great. And I remember um, at the end of the last stream, like I, I had managed to get a bunch of these things, the little um, ice bolt staff charges. And I got a few of these fireball staff charges, but as you can see, they're level 10. They do a lot more damage than these ice bolt uh, charges. And I think... It's a lot harder for me to make those at this stage because of the materials involved. Yeah, resin tar and bone meal. Although I think I have some, I have some tar. Um, I, you know what? Shoot, I might be able to find some bone meal. That actually might be my my next priority. Uh, getting enough material to make some more of those fireball charges. I mean, I, I don't know how many of them I'll be able to make, but uh, having more of those would certainly be welcome. Um. Yeah, resin and bone meal, obviously. Bone meal seems to be a common thing I'm going to need for a lot of this. A lot of these new alchemy uh, recipes and stuff. Tar. That's right. It's tar. How much tar did I need? I don't remember. Oh, these are things I don't know. And how are we doing here with the bone meal? Got four, baby. Now, how many do I need to make the, the wizard robe. Let's find out. Oh, so close. All right. I just need two more. And that actually should be done in six, five, four, three, two, one. Happy New Year. All right. Sweet. Let's make us some full mage armor, baby. All right. Apprentice chest. Here we go. Now, have a look at this thing. Tar. Oh, I only need one tar for that. Okay. And it makes 20. That's not terrible, actually. All things considered, that's not terrible. So, um, what I have found out online is um, if you want to get resin, you have to chop down trees with yellow leaves, like this one up here. Um, I don't know if they are renewable. I would hope so because most survival games will allow you to plant trees and stuff so it'd be kind of surprising to me if, if you weren't able to replant trees over time um, 
Yeah, here we go. Like, there's probably some sort of, uh, some sort of tool that you're able to build later on that will allow you to plant things. I just don't have that yet. So, let's chop this tree down. Ha! Ha! Oh, there's some resin. Very good. Oh, okay. And yeah, there's some more resin. Now, how many resin was that? What are we looking at here? Seven! Oh, that only gave me four resin? Crap, that's actually not... Uh, this is going to be difficult. There's got to be a better way to get resin. <laughs> there's got to be a better way! You know what, though? I do see another tree with orange leaves over yonder. So that's good. Alright. Ooh, wait. Okay, so was that six of them? That was six of them. That's great. Very nice. Very nice. So, I think... I can go chop down this guy as well. Like any true mage, I am an expert at wielding this axe. Okay. Oh, wait, was... Okay. Man, I thought for a second that it didn't drop another resin. And we... We were finna have a problem. That's how the kids talk these days. Stupid rat. Stupid rat. Haha. <laughs> Need to remember to use my little wand and not uh, the staff, like, at all times. Because, like, the staff requires charges that you have to to craft, and the wand, you just kind of use it, which is very nice. Guess I'll need to break that down, get some bones. Have I not been up here before? No, I'm pretty sure I have. Just thinking, it'd be weird if I had not been up here yet. Can I take any of this stuff? There's some, there are some twigs. Huh, maybe I haven't been up here yet. Still though, that just, that seems strange. I feel like I would have been up here. Like, actually, I'm pretty sure I explored Longkeep. Like, right away. I'm pretty sure it was one of the first things I did when I got into the world. Anyway. No point in, uh, trying to remember where I have and have not been because we could be here a while if I try to do that so actually let's just go back well actually I, I kind of want to see if I can find another couple of um, orange branched trees oh I did not mean to do that oh you know what now I'm starting to wonder if yeah, dude, okay, this this stuff around here has to be respawning. Like the loot that's been the, like that meat that was sitting there on that on that bench. I'm I'm very certain that I looted that the first time I explored Long Keep. Oh shoot! Ah! Oh boy. Okay, now how do I dodge roll? Uh, how do I do that? Is it control? There it is. Okay. Oh, whoops. Ah! Oh boy. I'm having to remind myself what the controls are. Oh, shoot. I missed. Come on. Recharge. 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 Ow! Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. That was almost bad. Nothing like trying to remember combat in a game you haven't played in a month. Okay, so I was enshrouded a second ago. I didn't realize I'd gotten so close to um, an enshrouded area. So I think I do need to just go home. Uh, I could probably build... Oh, fireflies. 
And what is this? What is that? Why was that lit up? Just because of that? Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I think I can probably build the. Oh, I can do this goat. Very nice. Yeah, I'm thinking I can build whatever they're called. The fire bolt. The fire bolt? Are they fire bolt or fireball? I think fire bolt. Um, yeah, pretty sure I can build the fire bolt charges and have a little more variety in my magical attacks at my disposal. But I will also be collecting some fireflies because I can use them to make some swanky lights for my uh, my little uh, luxury condo over here. <laughs> I like the labored breathing sound of my character. <laughs> After a long, hard run, he's just like, ah, ah, Oh my gosh, I'm so tired. All right, Balthazar, or whatever your name is. I brought back some materials. Now, shall we craft some firebolt charges? Fireball charges? We shall. Man, just need so much more resin. You're welcome. Uh, thanks, I guess. I mean, were you looking for a, for a thank you? He said that. He sounded kind of snarky when he said that, didn't he? like, you're welcome. Okay. Uh, is there... I've been meaning to do this literally since the game started. But is there a furnace of some type that I can build? That I can use to... Uh, you know... What do you call it? Oh, a stone fireplace. Yeah. That, oh my gosh. How have I gone this long without building a simple fireplace? <laughs> I feel like I should do that. Like, I, I'm... Again, I'm, I'm actually a little stunned that I've gone this long without building one. I also might not have enough stone? Maybe? Hang on. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, dude. I need, I need one of these. Uh, pretty badly, actually. <laughs> okay. I think I intended to put it here. Which is why I left this awkward hole in my ceiling. <laughs> that was not an accident. Twas intentional. Alright. Here we go. Uh, wait. What direction is it facing? Do I, oh, how do you rotate it? Wait. Nope. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess we can put this guy right here. And, okay. So, do I still get the bonus if I'm over here? Like, how close do I have to be for the warmth? Okay, so I need to move my bed. I should probably, probably put my bed, like, right here? Yeah. Alright, hang on. Let me, let me re reorient the room a little bit for maximum, you know, comfort ability. Uh, right. Bed. You go here. You go right here. Oh, it's <laughs> it's facing the wrong way. Ignore that. We're gonna turn you this way. That would be funny if you just like slept with your feet toward the wall and your head toward the center of the room. <laughs> like I don't know why, but that just seems seems silly to do. And I had a little dresser, or I'm sorry, a crude nightstand. It tells rude jokes at parties. Okay. And I think I want to build another, what do you call it? The, um, those little firefly lanterns. I, I really like those. They're, they are quite pretty. Illumination, firefly lamp. Very good. Um, and yeah, we're going to use this because 
I know you can also build sconce type items, but I, I don't want to use the resin to do that because I'm, I'm trying to build some more fireball charges. And I'm sure as I go through the game, there I will also figure out more efficient ways to get resin, but for now, I don't know how to do that, so <laughs> not going to... Not gonna trouble myself over it. Oh, this is slightly off center, I also just realized. Right? That's kinda well. Yeah. I'm not crazy. That's that's like like just ever so slightly off center. And therefore I must fix it. Hold, please. Okay. <laughs> so I think Okay. It needs to be more like right there. Yeah. Well, and now is it... No, well, okay. It looks more centered. And that's what matters. Um, cool. So now let me also... Cook some of this raw lean meat. That's grilled lean meat. Okay, that's perfect. Because I can then stack those together. Alright, yeah. Um, let's just cook. Let's cook some meat. Now, if I'm also not mistaken, this is how you can get tar. So, if I ever had just like a surplus of meat, I could probably just uh, turn that into tar. You know, get whatever I, uh, or use that for whatever I may need it for. But, uh, as of now, uh, it doesn't seem like, it doesn't seem like it may, makes much sense to do that. Um, now, let me put away some inventory stuff real quick. Uh, ah. I also have been playing a lot of uh, Wizard with a Gun, just kind of in my spare time. And um, a lot of the... And I guess this doesn't just apply to Wizard with a Gun, but... Um, huh. Wait, why? Wait. Oh. Oh, shoot. Um, oh, wait, have I been super dumb about this the whole time? I'm sorry, I'm going to finish my thought in a second, but have I been super dumb about this this whole time? Can I cook these? No, I can't. Oh, whoops. How do you get uh, dried purple berries? They don't gener regenerate as much health, but the effect lasts longer. Interesting. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, because I've been playing a lot of Wizard with a Gun and a lot of Minecraft in my in my spare time, um, I often get confused about what buttons do what uh, across each game. So that that's where a lot of that confusion happens for me, at least. Where you know I I I'll press, for example, the uh, the the button in Wizard with a Gun that allows you to kind of fast move your items into your inventory. Although I just Oh my gosh, I keep forgetting you can just deposit stacks. I'm such an idiot. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I could have been doing that the whole time. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, the button in Minecraft and Wizard with a Gun, respectively, like, you know, or they each respectively have different buttons that allow you to um, move items quickly back and forth. Um... Oh, plant fiber. That's what I was looking for. Yeah, and so um, I, I often will get confused between games about which buttons do what. So, ah. Nope. So, yeah. Uh, if there are any of those gaffes, you know, I, I press the wrong button, do whatever. That's uh, that's pretty much why. I I just uh, I play enough different games that the, uh, the controls can sometimes... Uh, you know, they can get a little bit confusing on me because the games are, you know, they're usually similar enough that uh, the mechanics can start to seem like similar, you know, they can start to seem similar and it's easy to press a wrong button from time to time. I also just realized I could have been cooking these red mushrooms. I don't know how effective they are um, to have out in the wild but uh, 
Guess it doesn't hurt to cook different things and <laughs> see how useful they are. Oh, looks like I made it to morning. I cooked all through the night. What a dedicated little worker I am. Dad, I, I, guys, I'm going to keep doing that this whole time. <laughs> and I don't know that there's much I can do about it. I'm just going to keep pressing. I keep pressing right click um, to like do the quick move. Because uh, that's how you do it in Wizard with a Gun. Um, in Minecraft, it's shift click. So you think that that instinct would be more... Uh, You'd think that that would be my stronger instinct, you know, because I've been playing Minecraft for longer. But I think Wizard with a Gun is the game that I learned more recently, and Minecraft, a lot of it is kind of second nature at this point, so, you know. When I obviously am playing Minecraft, like, that, I remember, you know, uh, what? oh, oh. Yeah, I remember how to play the, what was that? Oh, Firefly. Cool. Yeah, I remember how to do the, you know, do all the actions, etc. Uh, in that game. And, and I don't have to think about it too hard. Um, but obviously, you know, having learned Wizard with a Gun recently and, uh, you know, now playing this. Uh, anyway, it's a lot for me to think about. And sometimes I'm bad at thinking. All right, so... Um, Oof, let's see. I could find... Is this is this the one I'm... Is this my active quest? That's my active quest. Hmm. <gasps> Whoa, wait. Ooh, I didn't even pay... I didn't really pay attention to the... The reward of this quest. Ooh, I kind of want to make this my active quest. Because being able to grab spells uh, that can be used indefinitely sounds super appealing. And I kind of want to do that. Uh, oh, it's a thousand meters away? Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is... That's quite a trek. Uh, like, how far away is a thousand meters? Ancient Spire, Springlands, Fast Travel, Hidden Tomb Entry. Wait, uh... Oh, wait, is that... That's me. That's the Ancient Vault for the Hunter. Oh, wait, no way. Is that... Hold on. Is that where... <laughs> is that where the marker is leading me? All the way over here? Seriously? Well, I guess compared to the entire map, that's not super far. Or it's not like... I don't know. It's not unfathomable that I could go all that way, but uh, wow. That's quite a trek. Okay. Forge weaponry or armor. What? No, what is that? What? I've completely forgotten about any of the quests that I have. Oh, there's a scavenger stash. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Ooh, man. Hmm, there's an obelisk. Ah, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to go for the eternal spell. Whatever that is. Let's show on the map. Where is it? Okay, yeah, so it is over there. An eternal spell. Yeah, dude. I'm going to do it. I am going to do it. We're going to go that way. The elixir wells right there. Ancient vault. Hunter. Well, where can I? Bring this fast travel. Oh, shoot. Okay. So, here's my question. If I fast travel up to this tower, I wonder how far I can glide toward my objective. Especially because, right, now technically I've gotten farther away from my objective, but um, the... Oh, man, it looks like it's at the top of that hill, too. Maybe it is. I don't know. Who cares? Let's just, you know, let's just do it. Let's just go. Let's just go. Um, I also need to remember to not run out of stamina. That happened to me last time. Uh, it was pretty dumb of me. Let me just make sure that I'm not going to have the same thing happen. Oh, boy. 
Oh no. Oh, here we go. Okay. Well, I pretty much started the exact same distance as if I had uh, <laughs> just walked from home. Oh well. Okay. Take some magic, dummy. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That being said, I have not been up here before, so I might find some goodies. Or, you know, a floating rock. Why not? Okay. Uh, anything up here? I guess there's not really anything up here. Ooh, you know, I could try and glide. I do need to take advantage of the glide mechanic wherever I can. Um... Like there, for example. That was a nice quick way down. But now I want to go down there. Like, what is that? <laughs> come on. Come on. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Let me up. Come on. Yeah. Boom. Nailed it. Um. Yeah. Like, I might be able to glide a little bit further that way. That being said, I am, hmm, very curious about this little, little house over here. But uh Ah uh, no, I need I need to I need to stay focused. I need to go find that spell. That would be immensely helpful for me. Oh, now. Okay. Yeah, let's check out all this. What is all this? Oh, wait, is this the... Oh, I'm walking right up to the hunter's vault. Well, I... I guess... Hmm. I guess if I'm gonna have to, like, walk right by the hunter's vault to get to my other objective, like, I might as well just free the hunter. You know what I mean? Like, I... I don't know that it makes sense to walk right by it without uh, completing that mission as well, if I have a chance to do it. So, anyway. Um, let me check this spot. I don't think there's anything in here. There's just like a random little patch of enshroudedness. Super weird, but okay. Um, ooh, wait. Also, it, um, could this be a fast travel point? Or is it just an ancient structure? Man, that would have been so cool if you could fast travel to this. I need more fast travel points. Alright. Let's see. I'm gonna hit this goat from here. Ah, oh, okay. I guess I haven't really tested how far the range goes on this, uh, on this staff. So that'll that'll be something to to test out as I'm playing through this. Oh look, a little cave. Is there a friend, perhaps? Hello, sir. Are you a friend? Oh no, you are not. What are you? Oh no. Whoa. What on earth? What are you, man? Yeah. Haha, take that weird giant Ewok thing. That thing was freaky looking. I didn't like that. Seriously, that was like a demonic Ewok. That was that was <laughs> that was terrible. Uh what happens if I break these down? What do, what do I get? Just wood? Okay. Well. Oh. Can't hurt to get some wood logs. Oh wait, what do we got here? Anything good? Eggs, of course. Just more random crap. Ooh, there's a chest. Yeah, I'll take a health potion. Those are always good to have. You know what? 
Yeah, just because you were rude, sir, I'm gonna take all your stuff. You know, actually, this wouldn't be a bad place to set up a base. Now that I'm looking at it. Get, have a, yeah, little cave entrance. Uh, yeah. Huh. I might have to come back here someday. Build a little base. All right, let's, um... Let's pop on over to... I guess we'll free the hunter. Might as well. Oh, whoops. Wrong button. That was a desk pop. If you've ever seen The Other Guys. Very funny movie with Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. You'll know what that, that reference is. Um... And if you haven't seen that movie, then what I just said means basically nothing to you. Oh, shoot! Another one of those weirdos! No, get away from me! Oh, here we go, baby. So you guys don't like fire. Aha! Alright. Hey, dummy, you ready to eat some fire? Yes! Man, I love these fireballs. They are so awesome. I need to be careful with them, though. I, I need to need to make sure I'm not wasting them. Or if I am using them, I, I need to make sure it's at a point when I have the materials available to, to fairly easily replenish them. Don't see anything else of note. Let's hop up here real quick. Okay, very good. What do we got? Ooh, I found some resin. That's good. Oh, a heal channel. Okay. I haven't even I haven't even tried out one of those yet. Um, I don't even know I don't know how uh, how powerful they are or are not. Um I also just gonna go ahead and uh, roast this guy. Yeah, baby. Oh boy. Yeah, that's right. Those things seriously, <laughs> they're pretty freaky. It's just it's it's kind of disconcerting to hear, you know, the roar of like a bear uh, coming out of a an oversized Ewok. Boom! Oh. Ah. I also just can't help myself, though. Oh, no! I missed! That was a bad miss. I really can't afford misses like that. What's your deal, sir? <laughs> oh, I love it. Alright, so, let me get back to this guy's inventory. A short sword. Nice. Oh, this guy has resin. Okay, great. Look, if these guys have resin on them, then um, I might be in luck. That'll be a great find. It'll probably be... It'll end up being a good thing I came by to rescue the, the Hunter. Alright, any bad guys up here? No? Cowards. Oh, boy. Thought I walked off the edge there. <laughs> Don't want to do that. Although I guess once you have the the wingsuit, you can just kind of save yourself. I guess from at least plummeting to your death, you can kind of just mid mid fall uh, start gliding, and at least try to fall you know lightly fall to safety. Let's see what do we got here. Twigs, right? I wonder at what point in the game... Oh, gosh! Oh, no! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> oh, man. You little sneak. You little sneak. That was not cool, man. You scared the crap out of me. Man. Yeah, that's what you get. 
for being rude. That, kids, is why you shouldn't be rude. Where did he even come from? I, like, I, I didn't even see where he might have been. That was weird. Okay. All right. Uh, I need to loot. I want to loot the guy. Yeah, the one over there who had the... I couldn't tell if it was just like a... Oh, no, what is that? There is so much in this map I want to go see. There's just... There's so much. There's so much stuff. Like, every, every time I go exploring somewhere, it, this is exactly like Sky... Okay, there we go. I think this worked. I think it did, anyway. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. I have had the weirdest issues lately uh, with Enshrouded just, like, randomly crashing, man. It's it's super annoying. And it's a shame because I, I absolutely love that game, but uh, I might have to do a few upgrades to, uh, to my PC before I can... Uh, stream and shrouded without apparently uh, my computer just like taking a dump so to um, uh, emotionally recover from uh, that that uh, grave disappointment <laughs> we are I'm just gonna run around in my Valheim world um, and I guess give I think the first on-screen tour from the channel, for the channel, of my solo world. I've used this solo world as a backdrop for, uh, oh, thanks, Sam. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty proud of this base. And yeah, uh, I don't know, may, maybe I'll turn this bit of the stream into a video touring my, uh, excuse me touring my uh, solo Valheim base. Um, if you've watched the channel and, you know, Sam Bochelle there in the chat, I know you have watched our Valheim series, the one with Becca and Thad and me. You've seen plenty of our group Valheim base, but this is actually a base that I made... I, I don't even remember how many... Oh, gosh. I mean, it's been a while. I made this base, uh, or this world, several months back, um, and it was mostly in an attempt to play through Valheim on my own, because my previous experience with the game had only been um, playing with Becca and Sam and Thad, and in the first our first run through of the game I mean Sam was kind of like the um, he's like the dungeon master like in uh, like in D&D &D. like uh, you know really you know he, he really he'd already beaten the game by the time we got to it and he was guiding us through everything um, and it he definitely let us experience things the first time but in a way like our experience was a little bit on rails because there were no points where it was like, oh, we're actually lost and don't know what to do. Because Sam knew what to do. So, um, I actually wanted to make a solo world where I beat the game by myself. I, I didn't have friends helping me in the boss fights or helping with grinding or anything. Um, and also, as a, uh, a somewhat perfectionist at times, um, I can... Uh, I don't know. I, I can get a little particular about how stuff is organized. And uh, I adore my wife and my friends, and I love, emphasis on love, getting to play Valheim with them. But sometimes my uh, perfectionism takes over, and uh, I, I walk into the storage room, and I'm like, um, who has all the, the stone, you know? <laughs> 
Where why why is somebody just carrying around all of the all the metal? Oh, all of our iron's gone. Great, you know. So uh, that's part of playing a group survival game. So um, I absolutely know that comes with the territory, and I'm not really surprised by it. But sometimes uh, when I've played Valheim before, I've been like, man, it is fun to get to, you know, have have like your own. <laughs> Yeah, to have your own uh, your own space, I guess. I'm kind of like a teenager. I, w I want my own room. But, uh, yeah, Sam, you're right, man. Uh, <laughs> our Sam, Sam Rick, not Sam Bushell. Yeah, he is. He's the DM. So, you think I'm the fighter, Thad's the rogue, and Becca's the ranger. That's that's almost right. If, if we're going off, like, our Valheim archetypes, uh, Becca would actually be the mage. But yeah, Thad Thad would definitely be the Thad would be a, a actually I think between us Thad is probably more of the fighter and I would probably be more of the rogue. Although out of all of us, Sam is the most rogue like <laughs> in his his play style. Sam is the one who uh, in a game like Dungeons and Dragons or Gloomhaven would be like, "All right guys, you know, let let's 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 work really hard together and kill this boss. Also, I'm going to loot everything when you're not looking." Um, that's, it's kind of, we've experienced that with Sam. It's like, hey, where'd all the loot go? Oh, Sam grabbed it already. So <laughs> he's, he's probably the most roguelike out of any of us. But in any case, I'll stop jabbering on. I can, I can actually, I guess, give you, give you a look around. Um, <laughs> yeah, thanks, Sam. I, I feel like it's, um, I, I'm pretty proud of it. I'm proud of how it's come together. It it really was a uh, it was a labor of love and it came together piece by piece. Um, so I guess part of the backstory of this world also is that I actually recorded the first oh, what was it like the first four hundred Valheim days of this uh, of this map and I was gonna cut it all together into a into a video like i i played valheim for 400 days here's what happened like you know that sort of thing like you've ever heard of um luke the notable uh he's a minecraft youtuber although he didn't i think according to him he didn't start out as a minecraft youtuber but he came up with this idea for a video series called 100 days in hardcore minecraft and so he's had a lot of spin-offs from that idea of other uh minecraft playthroughs but a, a lot of other people have done that same concept in other games where you spend a hundred or 500 or a thousand in-game days um, in a certain game and you cut it all into a video. So I was going to do that with Valheim, but uh, like right when I finished the 400 days, I'm trying to remember, I, I think I got really busy with real, real life work um, and other video ideas. Um, it might've been around the time that like, I don't know, maybe at the time I was starting to have time again to maybe edit all that together. I might have found out the Mistlands was coming out and we started prepping for that. I don't know. Anyway, I, I never got around to it. And so I actually am sitting on like all this footage still of those first 400 days. And I actually stopped recording the 400 days before the Mistlands came out. And I just started like playing around in this world on my own. Um, and so I think by the time the Mistlands update dropped, I was, I don't know, like maybe 800 days into this world. And so in a way, like, uh, I would have had to fabricate, you know, the, like the process of making it through the Mistlands, um, because I actually experienced all that stuff, uh, in our group playthrough. And I don't think I recorded, that's right. I didn't record my experiences through the Mistlands because I had played through it already or played played more days after day 400 and uh, again being the perfectionist that I am I was like oh I can't record these days now because it won't be the true day 401 to day 500 even though I could have just recorded it and no one would have ever known but anyway uh, that was just a dumb decision I made and so now uh, I'm still I guess waiting for enough free time to schedule that uh or you know edit together all that footage and and release it so who knows maybe i will release it maybe you'll also see some uh some footage of me 
you know, completing various mist land tasks um, to kind of round out the the experience. You know, but anyway, so this is um, this is kind of what happened uh, maybe two. 250 days into the playthrough um, I actually didn't start seriously working on my base until I got to the swamp which is when you get access to iron and therefore get access to the stone cutter um, and I ended up kind of crafting the base around this natural river that I set up my first house next to my first house was actually like right here it wasn't this exact structure, but the original house was just like one of those broken down, uh, abandoned structures you can find. And so I ended up uh, using that as my house, but then, you know, slowly tearing everything down and then building building that right there. Um, and then just kind of forming everything else around it. So that is, that. that's the main thing. So that, yeah, that is my house. And we got this little bridge going across this river. Um, over to my hus. Um, let's see. Got a bunch of armor stands here. Got a, a little table here where I display my weapons. And actually, you know what? We can, I can change into my, um, uh, I can change into, into my, my casual garb. Um, sometimes just for fun, if I'm just like around the house, I, I actually will, uh, not role play. Uh, as in, like, you know, try to, like, act out things. But I will roleplay and, like, put on my comfy clothes. Because, you know, I'm, I'm at home. I don't need to... I don't need to be in, like, action mode. And so I'll I'll also take uh, all my good weapons and I will place them on these stands here. Let's see, I think... I think this is where I would put... Yeah, Jotunbane. Put the, the him and Awful right there. And... Uh, probably would just keep Demolisher on me. I don't know. Anyway, and then, uh, yeah. Take my armor. Ah, come on. You can tell I have not played Valheim in a while. I'm, like, forgetting, like, the sensitivity of all the controls and stuff. So, yeah. Then I put my armor up. Oh, whoops. No. Oh, dadgummit. I didn't mean to do that. Crap. Hang on. I wanted to keep my dagger. But yeah, I will uh, put on my <laughs> my comfy clothes. Let's see. There we go. Okay. There we go. Yeah. So I'll usually like keep knives on me and stuff. So yeah, look. These are my comfy clothes. And this is my house. Got some, got some food here uh, in case I have guests over. I have this Christmas tree that I put up, like, you know, during one of those updates where they let you build the Christmas tree. And I built it right here and was like, okay, it's staying right there. Don't do anything to it. Um, this is my barbershop station. Um, I realized, like, for a actual uh, functional usage, I put it in a dumb spot because uh, there's not a good light source. <laughs> Uh, that allows me to see my face super well. There's like an awkward shadow here. So uh, I, it's mostly for aesthetic purposes that I put it under there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the dumb place I decided to put my barber kit. Um, also, uh, if you're getting a little bit of, I'm seeing a little bit of lag. I think I also overdid it with all the crap that I have in my base. So um, yeah, I <laughs> can't really... I'm getting getting a li little bit of a frame rate stutter, and it's because I think it's just because I have a lot of crap in my in and around my base. Um, if we go out into the the wilderness to go explore in a minute, uh, the frames should get better. Uh, at least that's been my experience. But um, yeah, this this little loft up up where I'm sleeping that is that is my bedroom. Um, I also kind of like displaying oh it's raining of course it's raining oh okay so i'm on day 924 by the way i didn't remember if i'd gotten to day 1000 in this world um although it's not like a big accomplishment i'm not playing on hardcore mode or anything but yeah i also like using uh the display the little display pegs where you can like hang up weapons and trophies and 
uh, the armor stands and stuff. I just enjoy all that. So anyway, as you can see, I have put that to good use over here as well. And here is my kitchen. Got my fermenters, food storage up here. Got like my cooking stations and, and whatnot. Got to try to remember to keep those fires roaring and whatnot. Um, and again, this is where I keep all my food. I have them separated by... Oh, what did I do here? I think this is for... Let's see. This might have been for foods that max out at uh, 45... Yeah, max out at 45 health or 45 stamina given, I think. Yeah, that seems to be the consensus. Uh, it seems to be the number I settled on. So this is for like 45 and under foods. This is for, I guess, 45 to... Let's see, that's 50. That's 50. That's 65. Okay, so I probably went 45 to 65-ish for these foods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I kind of had to separate the top tier foods by uh, the, the, the number of minutes they give you. So, like, these are the top tier foods that last 25 minutes. Uh, including, like, the mushroom omelet that gives you 85 stamina. The Mist Hair Supreme that gives you 85 health. And then these are the ones that give you 30 minutes of food. Um, and I, I do that because uh, it kind of helps me time out when I need to eat food again. Um, so I'm not stuck with, like, you know. I don't want to waste, like, you know, five minutes of... Uh, um, oh, <laughs> hi, Gaming with Christy. Uh, yeah, actually, you know, Gaming with Christy, you bring up a great point. This is not enshrouded. <laughs> uh, yeah, hang on. Let's see. Uh, oh boy, hold on. Let's see. What am I doing here? Let me change the name of the stream. Live in Valheim. I tried. Valheim. I tried playing enshrouded but it kept crashing yeah we're gonna <laughs> yeah we're, we're just gonna rename the chat uh, or rename the stream <laughs> um yeah so i i had to i had to swap it up because uh enshrouded <laughs> kept crashing and so uh I was like, you know what? I I am uh, I'm I'm not I'm not about this. Okay, good. I'm glad you love Valheim too. Um, and Valheim, I, I gotta say, uh, I have been having a, a really good time in uh, in Shrouded. Um, but Valheim is definitely a top five all time fave for me. So. Um, I will never complain about having to to play it or getting to play it because I don't have to do any of this, but uh, I really enjoy it. So anyway, yeah, uh, gaming with Christy, uh, I was in the middle of a base tour. Uh, I, this is my solo Valheim world. It is different than the one that um, can be seen in the, you know, our, like the Valheim survival series that I've put up on the channel. That's a group server that we are in uh, in those videos. This is my solo world um, and I will actually take this opportunity now to fix up this random little um, random little seating area that I never use. Um, but yeah this is my this is my house uh, This or sorry this is my kitchen. Oh I, I almost forgot to <laughs> point out one of the best features of my uh of my house, my hot tub area, can sit out here on my little balcony and uh, relax under the the um, what is that called? The maypole under the maypole. Um, and let's see. I guess I can kind of do a circular, circle take a circular route around my base. This is my 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 hen pen. Um, it used to be a. I think it was a pig pen at one at one point. Then I tried to turn it into a wolf pen, but like I couldn't get any two-star wolves to tame, so I just kind of gave up on it. And now I keep my hens in here. Um, this is my farm. 
uh, you know, you reach a certain point in the game where a farm like this is, uh, well, you know, you don't really farm it as much <laughs> as you used to, so uh, it, it's mainly an aesthetic thing now, but uh, yeah, I, I have one. Uh, and this is a nice little seating area that I have. Tell you the truth, this, I built this because I thought, man, if, if I visited a place like this in real life, I would actually sit out here, like, all the time. In fact, here, let's uh, turn off the HUD. Yeah, check that out. Like, wouldn't you just sit there and and look out at the ocean or, like, out at the meadows, gaze down along the coast like that? It would be absolutely beautiful. I would, I would totally sit here and just think about life all the time. It would be gorgeous. So, anyway... Nice little seating area. Um, like, functionally, it do I guess it doesn't really have a point because it doesn't benefit me in the game. Also, bird. No trespassers! Okay. Um, I need to turn the HUD back on. Uh, let's see. This is my... This is my hoe. This is a pile... These are piles of rocks that I uh, just didn't want to put in the obliterator in case I wanted to build stuff. Um, and speaking of storage space that I ran out of for rocks, this is my storage room. Uh, I try to pretty meticulously label everything and store it, ac or store it, uh, I don't know, accurately, is that the right way? I try to be organized. Uh, if I ever, like, need some sort of, some supplies, etc., I don't want to be like, oh crap, where did I store this stuff? So this is, uh, a little loft area where I can make, I use this area to make arrows and stuff. This is my my artillery um got a lot of different kinds of arrows up here uh i guess i can put those feathers away oh shoot uh no play stack that's what i was trying to do good gracious um and yeah can make some arrows and stuff again I, I i like to display weapons i don't like to just put them in chests if i can help it um i got like little weapon supplies here and stuff so I, I do try to make a good make good use of the item stands in Valheim. So uh, now I what did I have here? I don't even remember. But yeah, and this is my crafting bench area, of course, where I well craft stuff. Um, this this took me way longer <laughs> than it should have, uh, especially considering how much I don't really use it that much. But this is my dock. I can't even really zoom out and get all of it in frame, but uh, I wanted to try and build almost like an airplane hangar to house mainly this boat because this this boat is like th this boat is uh, I mean it's clunky, it's big, and it, like the mast is really tall, uh, and the sail like extends out further than the actual width of the boat. So I was trying to build something that I could, you know, kind of park it under. But as you can see. Uh, if I pull out my hammer and look at, like, the structural integrity, uh, going up with some of this stuff, like, any, any time, and, uh, let's see, maybe I can run all the way up here and see, although if I fall off this, I'll probably die, but, you know, whatever. Uh, yeah, if you could see, it's like, oh boy, yeah, it was, like, red and yellow, like, all the way at the top, so when I was building this, um, and I was trying to kind of extend the, the roof from that point upward, like, when I got to the very tip there, it just kept dropping. Like, I could not get it uh, to stay put up there. No matter how many different ways I tried to, like, reinforce this uh, from right here. I think I tried putting different beams and stuff here. And it just wasn't taking. So, um, I <laughs> kind of just stopped it right there. Uh, it, I mean, it still looks pretty cool, I think. Um, and it, it, I guess it kind of shelters me if I'm, you know, hopping into my boat to go somewhere, um, especially like to this point. But really the main thing I wanted to do with this was was make a uh, like make a spot that would allow me to, oh boy, come on, and okay. Yeah, I wanted to make a spot that would allow me to like, uh, if I had a lot of metal on me, put down a, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, one of the little wagon thingies. Um, and I could, and actually, I parked this backwards, but if I built it, like, if I parked it in with the front facing here, sometimes when the water caused the boat to float up, I could open up the, uh, you know, the storage on it without having to jump in the boat. So I could be over encumbered and still grab stuff. So, anyway. Oh, there's my wagon. Got it over here in the 
grass where it belongs. Now this is my portal room. This is this is like Portal Hub Central. Now, uh I have debated well maybe I, I debated it kind of as I was building it, actually moving this whole structure more to like the world spawn. So the world spawn's like like right here. So I thought about moving this like somewhere over here and having that be, you know, the, the central portal location that I could teleport in and out of. But I do think it's a nice addition to the base. It, it kind of helps give the base itself a lot of... It makes the base look bigger. Um, and I'm pretty proud of the way it turned out. But yeah, I've got like... I got the world spawn, of course, but then I've got portals to all the bosses. Uh, all the way around here. Uh, the queen, there's old... Oh, yeah, that's right. Old root, south mist. These are like Mistlands portals. Terraform. Ooh, yeah. I'll, once we're done with the tour here, I'll go show you that. I'll go show you the treehouse, too. I've, I've done a few things uh, in this in this map. I'll go, I can go show you my barley farm. It's nothing exciting, but... Uh, yeah. I've, I've, I've done a few things. Um, I also have a... Kind of a moving portal when I wanted to farm gray dwarves. I would go find different spawners and set up a little outpost next to them. So, West Mist, East Mist, right? More Mistland stuff, Sirtlings. Uh, ooh, actually, I will show you this real quick just because I think it's hilarious. Uh, I found the most natural, the o most OP naturally generated uh, Sirtling spawner ever. Like, ever. Right there. You see that? Look at how the. Uh, yeah, look at how the thing has spawned. And I don't know if you know, I don't know if you caught that really, but there was a, uh, there was a Sirtling standing on this fire, and when he, uh, okay, come on. yeah, when, when I shot his friend and it got his attention, he started just like running around haphazardly, and he stepped in the water and died instantly. Um, it, this is such an OP location for a Sirtling spawner to be, because Look at how much. Look at how little surface area they have, where they could walk around. Um, they, they, I can come back here, pretty frequently. Uh, sorry, infrequently. Um, and there would just be like a bunch of coal in the water from where Sirtlings had died. <laughs> they just run into the water and end up killing themselves. So, I came across this whilst exploring one day and was like, I, I gotta build a portal to this. Um, easy way to get coal. And I mainly did it because I didn't want to set up, uh, I didn't want to set up too much or really anything uh, in the Ashlands in anticipation of that update coming out, whenever it comes out. So anyway, that's the most OP Sirtling spawn you could ever find. Um, oh, Frost Lake. Yeah, that's right. I finally found a, um, I mean, this was like a long uh, odyssey that I <laughs> had to go on. Uh, but uh, also, you'll notice I have an Ashlands portal set up so that when that update does come out, as well as the Deep North, that at each of these locations, I can then go explore them pretty quickly. But um, if you want to get... So... Uh, how do I want to start this sentence? There's like this special fishing hat. <laughs> it's like a secret item that you can get. Um, and it's like... It's not available until you have the materials to build it but it, it's this thing it, it's a little it, it's a little fishing hat and uh, it's hilarious it, it's got like all these bones and stuff in it but it also it increases your fishing and swim levels uh, by 20 which you know I, I mean depending on how you play the game that's not really a humongous deal but uh, it's very hard to get because the way you craft it is by uh you craft it using one of every type of fish in the game. And with the Mistlands update, they added a crap ton of fish. So now there are like, there are like 13 fish in the game or something. And the hardest one to find notoriously is the Tetra. And that's because they only spawn in a, a small pond that will spawn in a, uh, oh, what are they called? It's not the Howling Cavern. It, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? A Frost Cave. 
They only will spawn uh, in a randomly generated uh, lake or pond in a frost cave. And they are super duper hard to find. So whenever I, once I finally found one, I, I marked that down so I could go back whenever I needed to. So anyway, but yeah, that's my portal area. Uh, don't let me forget, I will go show you uh, what happens, uh, what's through the treehouse portal and the terraform portal. So those are both kind of fun little uh, adventures as well. So uh, there are just a couple more things to show. I mean, this is like my, you know, furnace and smelting area, blah, blah, blah. Um, and actually, go ahead and place those stacks. So I actually want to show you my, this is my wizard tower. Um, that's actually supposed to be lit. I don't know why it's not. Well, actually, it burned out. That's why not. Uh, but yeah, I got all the all the magic stuff. Uh, the the Galder table and like the full mage set. Got a bunch of magic items and stuff for foods and crafting, etc. So if I ever want to go full mage, I can do so, and I can continue refining Eider with this guy up here. This was actually the best place to put this, because um, if you haven't used one of these before, uh, let me just tell you, they are destructive as heck. Uh, the the eider that they generate will just haphazardly shoot uh, in all directions and just, like, destroy anything in its path. So uh, I was like, I need to put this high up where it won't destroy everything I own. And then the last thing I wanted to show is this my pride and joy my treasure room i kind of so i kind of referenced this in our last group in our last big valheim video the last cinematic one with um whatever you call it uh hildir's request i couldn't even remember the update name um yeah we were playing through the hildir's request uh the hildir's request uh oh my gosh well it's a quest but that through that update and at the end of uh the the second part of that series, I made a joke about how um, my character in that world visited my character that I play with in this world, um, and I, you know, kind of <laughs> joked that he's a uh, he's an all powerful demigod uh, with with loads and loads of cash, and so I had a I had a couple of random shots, uh, some camera trickery where uh, I made it look like my. My gr my uh, my original Valheim character was called Valheim Kilmer, so I had Valheim Kilmer come visit Bob, and uh, Bob gave him a bunch of a bunch of cash <laughs> from his vault. So uh, if you happen to watch that video, th that's the that's the same vault. I pretty much just used uh, my solo world uh, as as a joking. Uh, in a joking way as an alternate dimension so in any case uh, let me let me go put away this fishing hat I don't want to die and lose it because it took me forever to get uh, mostly because tetras are again just ridiculously hard to find so um, I yeah I'm gonna go change into my adventure clothes as well and we can go run around and just kind of you know I can just kind of mess around for a little while. I know I usually stream for like two and a half or three hours, so I definitely don't want to deprive you good people of the entertainment uh, which I have promised. Um, so I can I can run around and I don't even know, man. Maybe just explore the map some. Uh, I I've, I've made it like I don't know, not a hard and fast goal, but I've I've made it kind of a goal to maybe one day like naturally fill in this whole map um i know that would be like borderline impossible because this the generally uh procedurally generated maps are i mean they're just massive and before you say it yes i do know that there's also a uh i know that there's a console command um that you can use to uh you know uh, un unveil the entire map I am aware of this, but I don't know. I don't want to... If I decide that I'm going to uncover an entire map, I, I don't want to do it that way. I don't want to painstakingly sail across the whole thing. 
Uh, and fill it in that way. Go get my sword. Uh, that's right, I had Demolisher on me upstairs. Oh, right. Put these on here, too. Fine. Boom. Uh, so yeah, this is all my stiff. Oh, frame rate. <laughs> uh, it's probably because I'm also streaming at the same time, but I do notice, like, a, a, a significant frame rate drop whenever I, uh, whenever I am, uh, in my house. Also, when I went to sleep, did I hear something break? Or am I imagining that? Did you guys hear that? It really sounded like something broke. Hang on a sec. Let me eat some food. Let me put away these claws as well. No need to be Wolverine today. Although, fun fact, one of the most fun, randomly fun little build, or one of those fun, like, random little builds you can do is, um, uh, yeah, it was, seriously, yeah, well, something died out here. Ah, world, trying to save. <laughs> oh, maybe it was a skeleton. Maybe I heard a skeleton die. Okay, anyway. Um, if you have not done this before in Valheim, one thing I would highly recommend doing is getting your hands on the, oh, what's it called? It, the, it's the black, that wolf armor. Uh, sorry, not the um, Fenrir. The Fenrir armor. Not the wolf armor that you regularly get from the mountains, but uh, it's the stuff you get from killing like uh, the cultists and um, you use, what's it called? Um, oh, man. The uh, Fenrir claws or whatever. Anyway, you can basically kind of make yourself look... You almost look like the um, the Nightingale armor from Skyrim. If you ever played Skyrim, it kind of looks like the Nightingale armor. Uh, but you basically like this this hooded nightmare with... Uh, uh, yeah, with like glowing eyes and stuff. And it, it looks awesome. And so... Um, when you're wearing the full set of that armor, uh, you move insanely fast. So, um, it's really fun, especially with the feather cape, to just like sprint around wearing that armor, moving so fast that basically nothing can touch you, um, and like jumping off mountains and stuff. So, um, yeah, fun fact if you've never done that before, the uh, Fenrir armor of the full set is incredible. But in any case, I will stop talking about Fenrir armor. Um, this is my treehouse. This is sort of a riff on a thing I did in our OG Valheim series. I found out in that original series that um, some people would intentionally build... Uh, oh, thank you, Gaming with Christy. Fenris armor. Yes, that is exactly right. Um, actually, uh, Christy, if you know off the top of your head, uh, what is what is the... Um, it's not leather. It's like a pelt thing that I'm trying to think of that you use. Um, is it just Fenris uh, leather? I don't know. But anyway, you use that to make the, um, the Fenris armor. And yeah, that stuff is dope. But anyway, uh, yeah, I... I built a a treehouse base in our original Valheim series because I found out that um, people would do that um, because essentially if you build stuff around these, like this tree here, uh, that can't be chopped down or moved, um, nothing can get up to your base. Um, the only thing I've seen is like the occasional wraith might, big emphasis on might, uh, float up toward you. Um, but even then, as long as you build a, uh, you build a house that's far enough. Oh, yes. Okay. That's right, Christy. Thank you. Uh, yes. Fenris fur. That is how you build Fenris armor. Um, but yeah, the, um, the swamp tree house is actually a pretty good strategy, apparently. And it's, it's, you know, that, that's been my experience. Um, it's a pretty good strategy for, you know setting up a house that enemies really can't get to because like the blobs and the draugr can't get up to it and um see i can't even really i can't get all of it in frame from down here uh 
Yeah, yeah you can kind of see it. Kind of. Uh, is there a better angle? I don't know. There might be. Uh, but yeah, I, I wanted to build one of these in my solo world. Because I was extremely proud of how the... Uh, extremely proud of how the first one turned out in our group session um and i wanted to i wanted to improve on the design of it so um i tried to you know kind of give it all the essentials comforts of home whatnot i think it did a decent job now admittedly i <laughs> i don't hang out here a ton but uh it is a decent forward operating base uh for crafting and gathering things from nearby biomes um i'm sort of near the plains ish there's a tiny couple of black forest areas that i've not really explored but there is also a lot of uncovered map area uh south of here um and it's pretty easy to strike out from the treehouse and craft a boat somewhere over here and you know um and then uh exploring a little bit sorry what was that saying Oh. <laughs> Honestly, man, it's not that bad once you get uh, the poison resist mead. Um, once you get poison resist mead and... Honestly, once you're at like the wolf armor stage even, you should be relatively safe in the swamp. Um... Now, it's still a pain in the butt always having the, the wet debuff. That is the thing I <laughs> abhor the most about the swamp. I hate it. <laughs> but uh, once you get to a certain point, like you, you should be able to handle yourself pretty well in the swamp. Um, and, you know, the swamp, the swamp treehouse, it's, it's a pretty cool thing. It's a neat little exercise in... Uh, you know, cautious building. And I mean, if I was playing in hardcore mode where, you know, like if I die, the whole world, like my whole playthrough is over, I definitely would not do this. Um, just for like, you know, I don't know, for, for any sort of serious playthrough, this is like a super <laughs> risky thing to get set up. Now, once, I mean, once you have it set up, it's pretty safe, but yeah, getting it built can, it can be a, a dangerous process. So, um, if you are still, you know, kind of weirded out by the swamp, then yeah, I don't know that I'd recommend a, uh, a treehouse build, but I don't know if you, if you've got the time and you've got the resources to do it, it, it can be pretty, it can be a pretty neat little change of pace. Um, now the view is not that great because, you know, everything is dark and gross here, but Again, it's, it's pretty safe. And actually, fun fact, I, uh, I one time, I don't remember why I did this. I was like, I was recording for something and I had my character just like sitting here or maybe it was in the other swamp tree. Any, anyway, it was one of my swamp tree houses and I, I had my character sitting there AFK and, uh, Suddenly, and at, when I went back and looked at the recording, I saw that um, a a Drake attack had triggered, like one of those one of those. Um... Oh, <laughs> come on, Sam! With padded armor, you got it, man. You you're virtually unstoppable in the swamp. With padded armor, you would you would rock it. But yeah, um, I was. I, I forgot what I was doing. Anyway, I, I, I one of those uh, raids with the uh, the ice drakes, like the flying dragon things from the mountain. They they it triggered, and um, I think because like I was sitting or like they couldn't see me, um, I don't even think they hit the treehouse, um, even though they could fly around and hit stuff if they wanted to. Um, in that particular instance, the uh, the drakes didn't really do anything to me, so. It seems like when you're sitting up in a treehouse, um, like if you're sitting or sneaking, you're actually pretty safe. So, anyway, uh, pro tip. Yeah, if you want a super safe house where nothing will ever happen to you, uh, definitely consider a swamp treehouse. Now, 
and in this current iteration of the game, uh, <laughs> the 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 truly most safe place, the truly safest place that you could build would either be the would probably probably be the deep north, honestly, because there's nothing there. Um, I don't even know if uh, monsters would spawn there in the nighttime. Um, dead things in water is just creepy. Eh, that's a that's a fair point, Christy. Uh, been been watching a lot of Two Towers, have you? That that scene in the swamp where Frodo gets like pulled into the water by the dead people that that does creep me out a lot. I guess the the Valheim swamp does kind of give that same vibe. That is pretty creepy. Um, but yeah, I guess if you really wanted to do um, like an actual safe place in the game in this version of it, where nothing would ever like even come near you you could build in the ashlands or the deep north because i would imagine raids don't trigger there um and in the deep north as far as i can tell literally nothing spawns in the ashlands if you run around down there uh you'll still get some certling spawns but uh i don't think uh i don't think any like raids or anything will trigger so um. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Didn't mean to. Didn't mean to dredge up some uh, scary memories for you. <laughs> uh, instead of thinking about the swamp scene, Christy, think about uh, Gandalf uh, cresting the hill with the sun gleaming behind him as he and uh, the Rohirrim ride toward those stupid Urukai and kill the crap out of them. That scene is dope. I love that part. Okay, and speaking of dope, I'm gonna show you what's through this terraform portal. It's not really that dope, but it's this its this random little side project that uh, I haven't gotten back to in several months, but uh, in my head was like, it's gonna be a big thing. Um, I actually, this is definitely the first time I've shown this on camera. Um, this is, um, <laughs> it's just, oh man. It's just, right now, it's just a big, flat nothingness. But um, I'll show you on the map. The entire area used to be full of trees. Like, this used to be a, a standard black forest uh, that you would come across through your game. I spent probably several hours a few months back uh, painstakingly chopping down every single tree on this island. And now it is a uh, it is a, a terraform nightmare. Um, now, I did not just uh, brutally obliterate nature for the fun of it. Um, there was a, a method, or there was a purpose, uh, to this ridiculous project, and, um, I was basically gonna build just, like, a big island kingdom for myself, um, on, on this, this island, but, uh, the next step after chopping down all the trees was raising the ground, at least most of it. I, I still hadn't decided which portions of the ground would be raised completely and, and which ones would be uh you know maybe recessed downward to allow for ocean access etc but uh yeah i i spent i oh <laughs> well treebeard's not in this world so maybe if i did this in return to moria treebeard would be unhappy with me um <clears throat> If it makes him feel better, I kept the the remains of all of his kin. That probably doesn't make him feel better. But anyway, yeah, this is Terraform Isle. I I had like half a vision, and you know I'm I can I'm still slowly but surely executing on it. And I guess you know the the this map is never going to go away, so I can slowly chip away at it. And I don't know, maybe if you guys would be entertained by that enough, I guess I could stream it. Uh, it's just me you know, filling up the ground and leveling all of this out. But yeah, I mean, oh, that's right. I forgot. I, I had even, uh, 
I even had some boars tamed over here, I think. Are they still alive? Oh my gosh, they're alive. And there are a lot of them. Wow. Good gracious. There are like five of them in there. Ugh, get out of here. Great dwarves. No trespassers. Okay. Uh, where's that other gray dwarf? There he is. Hello, sir. You are not welcome here. Boom. So yeah, this is the uh, the the random little side project that, uh, <laughs> that I guess, uh, given the scope of what I have done. Oh yeah, I guess some of it's also uh, a meadow biome. But yeah, given the scope of what I have done, um. I'm actually not that close <laughs> to finishing it, but I don't know. Again, I, I can always decide, you know, to not terraform or, you know, to not have the entire island flattened. But uh, I don't know. It just kind of seemed like a fun little random mission to, like, completely rid an entire island and it was you know i think the reason i wanted to do it is because i was sailing around i discovered this island looked at it on the map and was like oh my gosh that's like the perfect size of an island uh to to just completely reshape this and so yeah i just started chopping down trees and then once i had everything chopped down i just started raising the ground up near this uh Whatever you call it, this thing, the uh, the burial chamber. And actually, hmm, no, I'm not entirely sure why I decided to do that. Because, well, I guess in any case, there are a lot of hills around here. I, in whatever I decided to do, I would either have to raise a lot of ground uh, to meet that this height, or I would have had to, you know, break down a lot of ground. Uh, <laughs> okay, so that's one vote for a hangout and build sesh with Sam, or from Sam. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can commission the Valheim crew to come in here, come into this map and, and help me, help me terraform. I, uh... My instinct is uh, if I asked them to do it, that Thad would be the... He'd be the first one I'd be able to convince. Because he... I feel like he loves this game almost as much as I do. I think Sam... Sam gets bored with stuff really easily. But uh, he might help. I don't know that Becca would be up for <laughs> manual labor in Valheim. But... Uh, yeah, that's that's Terraform Isle. That is the random little side project that I may or may not finish one day. We will see. Um, but at least we can all rest soundly knowing that, uh, at the very least, I I uh, needlessly destroyed uh, a harmless island for no reason. So uh, I guess now, oh frames, so bad around here. Um. I guess now we can, we can just go explore. Let's just go run around for a little bit. Let's go see what we can get our see what trouble we can get into. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm. Okay, what the heck am I doing up here? Oh, a howling cavern. Oh, you know what? I must have run up here when I was uh what was I do what would I have been doing? Oh, excuse me. You know what? I was probably getting some... Oh, I need to drop stuff off. The dummy. I was probably getting some cinematic shots for the Hildir's Request videos. Yeah, I probably just went into a random... Or I probably found one of the Howling Caverns in this world so that I could get some shots in an unexplored Howling Cavern. It's probably why my Explore Portal was up there. Okay, sorry. Sorry for the delay. Let me get back to adventuring. Or begin adventuring in the first place. Just gonna put away my crap. Let's see where the feathers go. That's right. Um, if... If anybody ever watching this... Like, watching this now, or watching the... The video on demand. If you know of a way to build some sort of auto-sorting device... 
in Valheim, please let me know. I'm not going to hold my breath because um, that's more of a Minecraft thing. I, I'd be... I'd be pleasantly surprised if Valheim's mechanics, you know, allowed for that sort of uh, tomfoolery. But uh, if there was a way, you know, to uh, auto sort some stuff, uh, that would be spectacular. I would love that just so much. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> If anybody, if anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. I would be ever so grateful. Now, let's... Oh, you know what? Uh, nighttime? Is that a good time to run out into nothingness? Yeah, why not? I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen? <laughs> I'm going to die? I won't die. I'll be fine. I'm a real man. A real boy. Right, let's see. Sorry. Sorry, checking my phone. Checking my phone. Hold on. Checking my phone. Come on, phone. Alright. There we go. Okay, found out what I need what I needed to know. Okay. Uh let's just let's just uh let's break down this portal. Let's just go explore. Let's just go fill in some of the map. Let's see what sort of trouble I can get into. You know what? I will say, uh, as much as it sucked to have enshrouded crap out on me the way it did, uh, I, I am enjoying that at this moment I get to just kind of like run around and have and have fun in Valheim, a game that I absolutely adore, uh, for a stream. That is actually super fun. I'm, I'm, again, I, I, I would have preferred. Oh, 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 wait, can I get close enough? No, I might not be able to. Oh gosh, wait. Oh wait, are those ticks? Uh oh. Uh, yep, those were ticks. Oh, that's right. Man, I forgot about that. Yeah, one of the things about uh, beating the Mistlands though is now. There are, um, yeah, yeah, now there are, um, like, Mistlands monsters just, like, roaming the streets at night. Very disconcerting. Hey, fellas. Boom! I also cannot express enough how much I absolutely adore this weapon. It is my spirit animal. I love the him and awful so much. Oh, shoot. Wait. Oh, ticks. Ticks. No, 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 no. Get off me. See? This is what I'm talking about, man. I hate ticks. I hate the ticks. Oh. Oh, drakes. Uh, yeah, I hate the ticks. I hate the... The seekers. Hate all of it. Oh, do you not have the feather cape yet, Sam? It is, uh, not gonna lie, man. I, I feel like low-key, it's kind of the best item you can get in the whole game. Uh, chat might disagree with me, but, uh, I love this thing. Ooh, ooh, he's trapped, he's trapped, he's trapped. Hey there, idiot! Ah, oh, yeah, baby! <laughs> That's what you get for being rude. Uh, I can drop this stuff off, drop this stuff off. I kind of know what, what items I do and don't need. Name sound Wait, what, what name sounds like an insult? The him and awful? Oh, him and awful. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'm, if that's what you're talking about. I, I don't know if I'm saying it right. It could be the him and awful, but I don't know. That, that doesn't sound right either. Oh, lots of wolves. Here we go. Ready? Bam! <laughs> this weapon is so powerful! I'm basically Thor. It's perfect. Oh, dang. Yeah, there were a lot of Seekers down here. Good gracious, I I just walked up to a bloodbath. But no, um, 
to finish my thought earlier, um, I am having fun already just kind of like running around in Valheim because, listen, man, I, I, uh, I don't necessarily want to, you know, spill the beans on how long I have played this game, but it, it's definitely over a thousand hours, so, uh, oh, shoot, uh oh, one star dick, woo hoo wearing this game, like, legit, it, it, it fits like a glove, man. It just, this game is so awesome. I love it. Oh my gosh. What is going on? Don't you guys have anything better to do? Apparently not. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Sam, I just read your comment. You've, you've been, you've been trying to get to, uh, what? Oh shoot! Uh oh. Uh, so you've been you've been trying to have you been trying to find Yagloth's summon site or? Uh... Ow! Oh boy! <laughs> oh that hurt! Oh boy! Hang on. This is gonna take some. I'm gonna have to relearn the combat of this game. I used to be good at this. Oh, bam! Uh, yeah. Let me know if you're if you're. Uh... Having a hard time finding the Yagla spawn point. Uh, I've, I've been there, my friend. It can be quite challenging to find. Ah. You know, this the him and Apple is surprisingly effective against these stone golems. Uh, normally the weapon I recommend against them is the, is Porcupine, and I guess that's still the weapon I would, I would definitely prefer to use against them, but, uh, yeah, these, um, the Him and Apple's pretty good, actually. Pretty good against the, uh, oh. <laughs> you know what, Sam, I, I, I totally get that. It definitely does take a lot of, uh, prep work to solo Yagloth. Oh! Another wolf. Boom. Easy peasy. Um, yeah, man, the, um, we'll say the bosses in this game are pretty tough to solo. Um, Especially once you get up to, I mean, I feel like bone mass onward is pretty tough. Um, Cause bone, like if you look at the health comparison between bone mass and then uh, the elder, like bone mass is clearly just like a damage sponge. He, his health pool is ridiculous. Um, so yeah, fighting him alone is, is pretty challenging. But Yag Yagloth is interesting. Um, he uh, he also has a lot of health. But really, what I would recommend if you're if you're wanting to like, um, I'd say obviously upgrade your armor as much as you can. But uh, I feel like three of the th the most important things to have with you are Frostner. Uh, well, I guess four things, but uh, Draugr Fang with some Frost Arrows, Frostner, and of course, uh, uh, Barley Wine. Or, it's basically Fire Resistance Mead, but uh, for some reason they don't call it that. If I recall, they just call it Barley Wine. So, ooh, hey, a Fin Ring. Hello, good sir. Phew. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> Queso's giving me a weird look right now. He's just like, what, Dad? Why are you speaking the language of my people? Did... Wait, did I just hear something die? I definitely just heard something die. Oh, gosh, whoa. 
Hey there, fellas. Did you guys kill something? Or did you get killed? Little seeker broods. So adorable. Trying to run up on me. Looks like my reputation has not preceded me. Okay. Bam. Bam. All right. Uh... Oh, world save. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm uber paranoid now since Enshrouded kept crashing that whenever there's... Whenever there's even a the briefest of stutters in the frame rate, I'm like, oh no, it's crashing. I'm gonna have to start another different game. Okay, guys. Oh, it's so tempting. Should I do it? Should I do it? Is there anything down here? No. Okay. I almost just dropped right in. Uh <laughs> just took I almost just took down the entire tower. I'm still tempted to do it, but I don't know. I might want to use that for a portal one day. I actually, okay, I, so this is actually funny. I guess it's not that funny, but I guess it, it, I'm curious uh, how anybody else's, um, what do you call it? Uh, how anybody else's like play style differs from mine. Just always curious, but um, with all with any naturally generated structures on the map i almost like feel this this need to keep them intact you know like weirdly it's like oh i got to i got to preserve this <laughs> like i'm some sort of self-appointed historic society for valheim like like no don't don't take down the the tower it's been here for millennia and it's like i no one no one would care and also i'm the only one in this map so Really, I <laughs> the only person who would be affected is me. So, uh, curious if anybody else thinks that way, uh, or if anybody even remotely cares about you know keeping structures in the game standing. Uh, I just I usually find myself you know I, I tend to to leave stuff alone I guess. Um, Obviously, I'll, I'll clear out any enemies, but yeah, I don't like, I don't really knock over structures or anything. And again, it's not like I'm, you know, like I would get onto somebody for knocking over a structure. But uh, I've realized when running around playing on my own, I, uh, oh, hey, sweet, a frost cave. Nice. I thought I recognized a frost cave-ish shape. You know what? This is a, uh, these are always a fun little adventure. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go in. I need to set up my... Uh, let's see. Set up my portal. Um, but yeah, I... There's not really, I guess, a, a, a particular reason that I uh, feel a need to preserve Valheim's history. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Jordan. Cognitive Clip says, uh, actually, we'll get somebody. Oh. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, Cognitive gl Glitch Clips. I do that every time, man. Cognitive Clips has entered the chat. Uh, yeah, man, I, I tried streaming as Shrouded, uh, and I had it going for like, I don't know, how long? I don't know. It was like it was on for like an hour, maybe, or maybe like 45 minutes, and then it just totally crapped out on me. So I was like, I don't feel like dealing with this anymore. Uh, we're just gonna play Valheim. So here I am. Oh, 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 there we go. This is how you clear out some bats. Any more? Are there any more? Is there anyone else? Oh yeah, maybe we could, Sam. Maybe we could. 
Now, this this could totally be inaccurate, but I actually read online that. Uh, and again, this was just like a random person on maybe on Reddit, so t totally reputable source. Uh, someone online was saying that, uh, or in like a random like forum answer that I read, someone was saying that like only one spawns per map, so like. Like, once you find it, that that's, like, the one on your map. Uh, I don't know if that's true. It could be... That could totally be inaccurate, but, uh... Uh... Jordan, I'm glad to hear that you answered to any and all variations of your channel name, because, uh... I'm terrible, and I will I will get that name wrong. <laughs> That's not the last time I'm going to call your channel by the wrong name. Um, okay. Bam! Bam. Okay, um, so. Random... Random moment of appreciation for Valheim. I know somebody might look at this game and be like, What? Bro, this isn't Call of Duty. This doesn't look like real life. But I think this game is absolutely gorgeous, even though, like, uh, the, the, the art style is almost a little more pixelated by design. I think it's absolutely gorgeous, but the lighting design in this game is phenomenal. And I, I really only notice it when you're, like, in caves like this, but look at the difference between no light and then the light from the Him and Awful, right? It gives off a, a, a faint glow, and then you can pull out Jotunbane. It gives off a very faint greenish-yellow glow. And same with Mistwalker. It gives off a, a faint blue glow. And so it's it's beautiful. And like the lighting works so well. Like you can see it passing back and forth on the wall. Like it look the lighting looks so smooth. I don't know, man. There there's just little details like that that add to the experience of this game for me. And uh they're they're part of the reason that oh boy that uh this game is one of my favorites of all time. I just love to play it. Um I mean, I've already progressed in this map as far as I could possibly progress, so there's not, like, a big goal that I have, uh, you know, in this particular map. But uh, in spite of that, I like to just hop in here and play sometimes. Like, just run around the map and explore and, you know, just collect resources and uh, reminisce about all the, you know build projects that I have started and uh, not finished yet. <laughs> uh, yeah. Little details like the lighting in this game. Um, again, like the, the lightning effect when you're using the him and awful. Him and awful. I'm going to say him and awful because him and awful that sounds very uh, I don't know. Something sounds off about saying it that way. Like him and awful. What did you have for lunch today? I had an apple. I had an apple. Um, but also, um, the lightning effect in this game is like my favorite thing ever. I, uh, I unapologetically use the, the him and awful like all the time. It is my absolute favorite weapon. Maybe in any game ever. Bam. Um, also, this is an interesting cave makeup here. Uh, I don't know that I've s seen... You guys hear that? Hear that, like, banging sound? That was unsettling. Ah! Ah! Yes, Sam, that's exactly right. It, it's something about, like, him and Apple. Him and Apple. It sounds like, yeah. Sounds like I'm from, like, Minnesota or something. I don't know. Anyway. Let's see uh, who awaits in here. Oh, nobody. Okay. Sometimes there are um, cultists and... Um, I think they call them, they call them wolves, I believe. All right. Uh, what are we looking for? Oh, yeah, I guess I don't need any of that stuff. 
entrails, no leather. No. Let's break this down. Definitely use some coal. You can always use coal. You never know when you need to smelt stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, let's go down here. Let's see what's uh, see what's going on down in this area. What is this? Can I get back there? That looks like an area I should be able to get back to. Oh gosh, this this place is a labyrinth. I'm gonna get lost in here really easily. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, as long as the oh, get away from me! Yeah, I guess as long as the walls don't actually lead anywhere, I will not get lost. Oh wait, does this just lead back up to the entrance? Oh, okay, cool. Well. Never mind. Uh, it seems that no matter where I turn, I can actually just fumble my way back to the entrance. Okay. 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 <clears throat> okay. Uh, how do? I... Okay. So there's there's yeah there's there's an area I can go to over there, but uh. I really kind of thought that there would be... I guess we'll see. Maybe maybe if I go through this door... Let's see. There are usually cultists and stuff in here. Might be able to find some. Or... No. Okay. Just kidding. There's no one. Okay. Well. Okay. Well, that was... Kind of fruitful, I guess. Let's see. Leather, I don't need ya. Fenris Claw, you're coming with me? Clang, clang. Okay. Uh. Let's see. Okay, that. Actually, might be everything. Uh, somebody correct me if there's a direction I could have gone that I did not go yet. But that actually might have been everything. It's actually kind of strange. It, this this looked like it was going to be a bigger cave. It ended up kind of being small. Oh well. Okay. Hold on. I don't think I've been down here yet. Actually. Anything in here? Okay, there's a door right there. Very good. Here we go. Yeah, that's the that's the spot that I was looking through. Two. Okay. Okay. Yep. Still, still nothing. That's so funny. There, the the only enemies in here have been uh, have been bats. Pile and trails. That's so gross, by the way. <laughs> the idea of just a meat pile sounds super gross. All right, let's see. Let's see. What can I drop? Man, I don't know. I have so much valuable stuff. Probably would. Uh, here, let me just pick up the entrails. I really want to make sure that I'm not leaving behind some, some, uh, I, uh, crap, what's it called? A silver necklace. Sometimes those meat piles will have silver necklaces in them. And those are actually really good to have. Um, especially since they're, you know, they're somewhat rare. Uh, I don't need, uh, frost arrows. I can make plenty of those. Ah. Okay. So now I think that's everything. I think. Is that everything? I don't know, man. I don't know. Yep. You know what? We're just going to call that... Uh, we're going to call that... Uh, call that done. I think. Yeah. I think that's everything, man. Well, I, that's actually a little disappointing. Oh gosh, come on, come on, come on, 
Let me get the thing. No! Oh, I fell. Slowly. Well, that's why you always wear your feather cape, kids. You know what's going to be funny is if I get back to my house in a second and I don't even really have much room left for crystals. I I just now remembered. I, I might have gotten to a point where I collected a bunch of them uh, and didn't really have a, a lot of room. Oh, there's a, there's a wolf. Loitering. Hello, sir. Got him through the portal. Aha. Yeah, for real. Thank you, Sam. That was a lame cave. I demand a good cave. Don't want one of those lame ones. Oh, I have, some, I have, an, I have an arrow stock here. I forgot about that. Oh, uh, Sam, in case you were wondering, that that's the fire resistance barley wine. I forgot what else you used to make it, but you definitely use barley. Um, and I, I think I think it's like like raw barley like don't put it in the um uh those things over there the windmills i'm almost certain you use just uh unrefined barley uh okay play stacks very good um oh right okay crystals no they go here oh shoot yeah nah i didn't <laughs> i didn't need to Hang on to all those crystals. Oops. Oh, well. I guess it doesn't hurt to have a surplus in case I want to make more of those really slick-looking glass windows. Let's see, where's my... My stiff. it yeah Sam you need to make yourself some of that stuff once you beat Yagleth you can move on to the mist lands and the 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 uh, voluntary terror that that place is uh, you can start making magic stuff. Get a fresh rested bonus, and then we can head back over to the mountains. Grab the portal and then uh, mosey along. Rested and I'm ready. I'm rested and ready. Now I'm rested and I'm ready. I'm rested and I'm ready. Yeah, I'm rested and I'm ready. Any uh, Avit Brothers fans, anybody? was doing a doing a perfect cover of their song uh February 7 I think that's the name of that song it's actually a really good song uh but yeah that's that's one of the it's uh it's uh the end of the chorus I think throughout that song and now I'm rested and I'm ready I'm rested and I'm ready 
to begin. That was actually a song that was used in the. Uh, so when my when my brother got married a couple years ago, I actually made a. Uh, or I helped my dad make this little uh, little slideshow for their rehearsal dinner, chronicling uh, the journey of their love, or some crap like that. And uh, <laughs> the the one of the songs they used was that song, February Seven by Avid Brothers, and Kablamo! Did I get him? Oh, what? How did I not get him? No. Oh. You mind your business, Drake? Bam! I had to have got him that time. Okay, I didn't get him. I was like, don't tell me I didn't hit him. Don't tell me. Huh. Oh, no, I didn't have enough stamina. Poor planning. <laughs> that is the best way to kill a drake. Just smack him in midair with a pole arm. A lightning pole arm. What? Where? Where? Oh. Man! Did you not just see what happened to your buddy? Were you even paying attention? Clearly not. This guy wants to die. He really wants to die. <laughs> oh man, that was great. I love it when that works. It usually takes me several tries to land the hit, so when, when it does land, oh, it feels good. Really feels good. Okay. Ooh, look at that. Look at look at how pretty this is. This game is beautiful. I love Valheim so much. This game is gorgeous. I love it so much. Like the mount, I will say the mountain is one of the best places to get some like really pretty screenshots. Quite pretty. All right. Yeah, let's uh let's just keep clearing out the map. I mean, as you can see, I've actually I've gotten a I mean, look, this map is massive, but uh I guess if I turn off all the icons, you'll see that yeah, I've I've actually gotten a pretty decent amount of the map uncovered. Again, I mean that I say decent, that might be like 15% of the map. If th Now, that might be generous. That might actually be only like 10% of the map. Like if you took this area and like, I don't know, because you could fit almost a whole other area of that there and there and like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, it's probably like 10 to 15% of the map that I've actually uncovered naturally, but it feels like so much. Oh, hey, Draugr, what are you guys doing up here? You guys, um, you should be down in the swamp. Also, it looks like I missed quite the party up here. There's some, uh, there's some black metal up here and some wolf pelts and, uh, some draugr bits. You guys were having a party. Dodge roll. Bam. Oh, and a drake just showed up. Hello, sir. I, uh, I don't need any assistance. I took care of the draugr myself. I am a big boy. Oh, a Fenris is or a Fenrir is chasing him. <laughs> That's funny. Let's see. Location already added. Yeah, okay. Um wait, what's under here? What is what is this? You guys see that? They're like items. Huh. That's weird. Yeah, what's great is I, I can legit leave almost anything that's not, like... Uh, like, a freeze gland is a good item to keep. 
because it's a good uh it's good for food and for making frost arrows but uh aside from literal like coins and stuff i like i've actually gotten to a point in the game where i've collected enough of this stuff that i have a really big supply and uh <laughs> i'm not using it so I've, I've basically like maxed out my storage space for a lot of those different items and uh yeah, you, you kind of find yourself in that position in this game eventually if you play it long enough. Um, oh, gosh. That's a scary sound. Oh, hello, sir. What about me? Um, oh, oh, there he is. Hello, sir. Ow. Aha. No. Uh, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. A thin ring trophy. That's. Oh, shoot. That's not good. Oh, boy. That actually might be one of the few things that could, like, actually kill me up here. <laughs> Crap. Get away from me, wolf. Get away from me. Oh, man. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, potion. Get him the potion real quick. Oh. Oh, don't knock me down. <laughs> now, I was just going to say, the wolf, that two-star wolf, uh, if I'm not careful, that thing could kill me. Oh, boy. No, um, but yeah, about the storage conversation earlier um uh yeah you get you'll get to a point in this game where you just like you can collect enough resources um to have a really good supply of most things um and you'll reach a certain point in the game where like you know until they add more biomes and update it um there's not much you can do with a lot of stuff Oh. Ooh, man, if I if I had a, a taming area nearby, I would totally try to tame that guy. An army of two-star wolves would be pretty awesome. Don't mind me, Ben Riss Rear. Bam! Ooh, can I get another trophy? Maybe? Ah, uh, all right. Nope, just one Fenris trophy for me. Or Fen... Fenrir, Fenris. Okay. What what can't you believe, Sam? That, I, that I've gotten to the point where... Or that you could get to a point in this game where it's like you have more supplies than you know what to do with. It, it happens. I mean... When you play in the same map for long enough and you just kind of explore and run around, uh, keep gathering materials and stuff, you'll, you'll probably find yourself at a point where you, you have more materials than you know what to do with. And that's actually why I think it's a good thing that they added the obliterator to the game. That is something I wish they would add to Minecraft. I mean, I guess <laughs> the creators of Minecraft. Uh, I know that they're not made by the, the same people, but... I wish Minecraft would actually take a uh, take a page from Valheim's book and make an obliterator because that I that uh, item is awesome. It's a fantastic way to get coal, especially when you have like an excess of items that you're not using, like entrails, for example. Um, even when I was just on my like swamp tier armor and weapons and stuff just from especially when you're playing in a, in a solo world now this is probably different when you're playing in a world uh oh the fact that a two-star wolf ran up yes no i <laughs> i also can't believe that um it's actually also probably only because i'm wearing like carapace armor that it didn't kill me um because i gotta say those two-star wolves are pretty tough um, even if padded armor, if you're not careful, they, they can kill you. But no, uh, I feel like in a solo game, especially when you are, oh, oh, feeling, what are you doing up here? When you're like ex exploring certain, uh, dungeon types that have one type of enemy in them. Again, like, uh, sunken crypts are going to have a lot of Draugr in them. They're also going to have a lot of blobs in them. Um, so you'll end up picking up a lot of ooze. Oh, come on. What? There we go. Oh, shoot. Seeker. Not good. 
Oh my gosh, I am being set upon by everything. Oh, do I have a portal down? I don't have a portal down. Oh boy. Uh, oh gosh. Oh, hold on. I need to. I need to eat. I need to eat. Get my health up. I need to get my health up. Oh boy. Oh, oh, I can run in here. Thank goodness, safety. Oh. Okay, good. They can't follow me. Oh gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, man? Come on, game. Why are you throwing seekers at me? That's not fair. What is this garbage? Yes, thank you, Sam. Completely agree. What the heck is a, a seeker doing up in the mountains? They would hate it up there. Okay, anyway... Oh, wait. Have I already... Oh, I've been in here. Oh, my gosh. And I know how I uh, forgot that. I had my icons turned off. I was like, wait. I, I would have recognized this. How do I not... Yep. Okay. Nope. Makes sense. All right. Let's do this. I'm ready. Where are those bugs? Where are the... Actually, they might have despawned now that it's daytime. <laughs> Ooh. Skill shot. Ready... Yeah! Boom, baby! Anyway, no, that scared the crap out of me. Those Seekers just, like, running up, running up on me out of nowhere. Uh, that was terrible. So, anyway, the thought I was trying to finish earlier, though, was... I have noticed that, obviously, when you're playing in a, uh, a multiplayer server, yeah, you, you run out of supplies a lot quicker. You know, especially food and arrows... Those are things that, uh, in my experience, like, in our group server, I mean, we ran out of that stuff. We still run out of it whenever we play all together um, pretty quickly. Uh, it really doesn't take long for us to be like, oh, crap, we have we have no food. <laughs> or, uh, like, oh, where did all the arrows go? Well, time to go grind for some, you know, time to go kill some death mosquitoes, I guess. So, um... Oh, shoot. When you're playing by yourself, um, it is easy to amass a large supply of stuff because, y you know, you are you only have your mouth to be, uh, proverbially, proverbially speaking. So, um, that, that is how you can get to a point in, in Valheim or any survival game. Um, uh, yeah, that's how you can get to that point in any survival game where you have more stuff than you know what to do with. And I guess it also doesn't help that I'm kind of a pack rat in survival games. Like, I, I will just, like, I will pack my storage, uh, <laughs> uh, to, to the limit, to the absolute limit, with little to no thought about, like, how much space... Or like, like whether or not I actually need what I am carrying around. So that's part of my problem too. All right, you stupid Drake, you stupid Drake, come here, come here, coward! Yeah! Aha! Now where did where where'd your uh, where'd your Where'd your thing go? You dropped a gland, I think. Where's the gland? Where did it gland? <laughs> yeah, there you go, Sam. That's that's kind of how it goes, man. You can have a chest full of sap you never use. I feel like I end up with a lot of gray dwarf eyes. Um, and they do have their uses, but only to a certain point. I mean, there's there's really only so much you can actually do with Grey Dwarf Eyes. So, that's another item that, you know, I routinely will just toss into the Obliterator. Um, honestly, when you get to the Mistlands, uh, you will get... Oh, depending on how much you explore, you will get so much... Uh, carapist and seeker meat like 
you really you'll you'll have more of that than you could ever care to have ooh, real quick. So that's something to look forward to. Um, another thing that I never thought I would have so much of that I would just throw it away is black metal. But I mean, if you raid even like two fueling villages, uh, you'll you'll wind up with like so with so much black metal um, that like you might never need to collect it again. I mean, depending on stuff that you build or like whether or not you want every single black metal weapon available. Uh, that all just depends on, you know, your goals in the game. But, uh, yeah, I found myself in a position a while back where, like, I, I didn't even have room in my chest or, like, I had filled up the, the space I had allotted for black metal and I just wasn't using it. So... I have gotten to a point where like I I don't collect black metal anymore, uh, which again e everything is relative in this game because you know there's a point in its progression where you know you 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 want as much black metal as you could possibly carry, uh, and you you will grab as much of it as you can. But um, the thing I've noticed, though, about black metal... Oh, and, like, wolf trophies. That's another thing. If you survive one of those um, you-are-being-hunted wolf events, uh, you can get almost a full stack of, uh, of wolf pelts and, like, two or three stacks of uh, wolf meat. Just, just from that. Just from the sheer number of, uh, of wolves being thrown at you. But... Um, Okay. Oh, yeah, you gotta go, Sam. No worries at all, my dude. It is always a pleasure to have you in the stream, friend. Uh, hope you have a good night. And yeah, thanks for tuning in on a random Monday. Uh, I might start streaming on Mondays now. Uh, I won't bore you with all the details, but it kind of actually works better with my schedule. Um, I, I end up not being as like rushed on Mondays uh, my Tuesday afternoons usually wind up uh, usually winds up making me like you know basically having to like scramble right before the stream starts uh, and like I sit down kind of frazzled uh, a lot of the time depending on how my evening is gone so uh, tonight was a lot uh, a lot more chill I was able to kind of like you know settle into the evening and Oh, a skeleton. Yeah, make sure that I was all... Well, make sure uh, I thought I was prepped, but Enshrouded had, had other ideas. But, uh, you know, I was able to get everything set up and be a little more prepared. So, all that to say, uh, you might start seeing my streams on Monday nights now. Um... And actually, you know, saw I saw a couple... I saw couple of new faces in the in in the chat over the last couple of uh you know over, over the last couple of streams and i don't know if uh gaming with christy is still here christy if you're still here it was great to see you in the chat i i don't think i've seen i at least haven't seen you pop up in the chat before so if mondays work better uh for you to tune into the streams that is awesome and uh yeah be on the lookout for that. I might be, I might be swapping up my stream nights. Mondays might be the new, the new night that you get copious amounts of the sound of my voice. Oh, <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Oh, is this? Do I get to see? Do I get to see nature at work? Oh my gosh! Yes. Wait. Is that a... Oh, there's a... Oh, no. Don't attack me. Go. Oh, guys. Really? Man. I was really, really, really so badly hoping I could watch that Drake attack the, uh, the stone golem. Don't attack me. Attack the stone golem. He said something rude about your mother. You should go attack him. 
Man. Hey, Stone Golem. You wouldn't believe what this Drake said about your mother. Ah! Guys, really? You... Can, you not, can we not just... Why are you teaming up against me? Oh, wait, no. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, get him, Drake. Get him! He doesn't respect women or your mother. Or I guess he, he doesn't respect any women, including your mother. Ah! Yeah, actually, that's what he said. He said, I don't respect any women, especially your mother. That's what he said. I heard him say it. Oh! And stun lock. Um, Drake, if you could help out, that'd be awesome. It feels like you're doing... I feel like I'm doing all the heavy lifting here. Bam! Bam! Uh, yeah. That was kind of a solo kill. You, you don't get any credit. You don't get an assist for that. Seriously? We're doing this still? <sighs> okay. Did I not hit him? Oh crap, I suck. I'm terrible. I'm terrible. Bam. Yeah, come here. Give me your give me that ice gland, frost gland, whatever it's called. That's mine now. Pew 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 pew. Alright. Look at us go. Just killing the crap out of some stuff. Uh, let's see. Where do I go? I keep going this way. I guess I'm trying to figure out um, how much of this tall section of mountain I can explore or uncover. You know, before I have to start kind of circumventing the the base of the mountain to cover up or uh, uncover the map. Really hard to tell. But I guess it looks like this section up here, a uh, little, is undiscovered. Oh, look, more Draugr. More Draugr. Hey, guys. Just like Yzma wanted to do to Emperor Kuzco. Ah, ha, 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 ha. I'll smash you with a hammer. Some efficient killing. Let's see. What can I get rid of? Oh, that's right. Crystals. I determined uh, at the end of that... Uh, that's right. At the end of the frost cave that I raided, I determined that I actually don't need to be uh, collecting crystal anymore. I, I have plenty of it, and I'm not currently using it for anything. So, not, eh, not much of a point in hanging on to it. see uh, yeah let's just hop down here see if I find anything interesting see a Drake in the distance sorry I saw a Drake in the distance and then I killed him all right where is that gland? Oh, come on. Where did it go? Man. Did it really roll all the way down here? No way. What? Where'd it go? I mean, it's just one gland. I guess it's not that important. But I haunted it. Man. Okay. Well. Oh. Come 
And... Got him. Ha <laughs> ha Uh, yeah. I... Oh, wait. Here's something. Yeah, there's the, uh... The trophy. So where'd the, um... Crap. Where'd the gland end up? Oh, well, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I think when I checked a few minutes ago, it, I I think I had plenty. So, probably not a huge deal, but, uh... I guess I have a hard time letting things go. I really wanted to know where that gland went. Anywho, um... Let's just, uh... Just keep moseying on this way. Ah. <laughs> oh. Nope. Oh. Can't quite get up there because I am not crested. Oh. Okay. Oh, I see a drink. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I had the wrong button. Crap. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, baby. Boom. Okay. Well, I guess I'm immune to fire and ice and electricity now. Yay. Okay. Very good. I am enjoying this uh, little sniper sesh I got going on. Dead gummit. I slid. Oh, I whiffed. Oh my gosh, I whiffed three shots in a row? Get off me! You. Oh. oh my gosh. Yeah, let me get down to. Yeah, that's better. That's better. Okay. Um. Where did that Drake drop? Where's the Drake drop? Ah, probably all this stuff probably dropped down there. Lame. Okay. Um, maybe I should run back up. <laughs> Let's see. I do very much love the music in the mountain biome kind of offsets the the terror you feel while being up here especially early on like before you have any like any wolf armor or any of the any of the items that help keep you warm uh so you don't freeze to death um and you know what i think i've talked about this before uh because becca and i have had we've we've debated before like what the uh like what the most I don't know, like, fun biome is, I guess, in Valheim, or, like, which one is the best? Totally subjective question, of course, so there, I don't know that there's a, a right or wrong answer, because everyone's, everyone's opinion is going to be different, but I remember I landed on uh, <laughs> the swamp definitely being, for me, the worst biome, um, because it's, it's dangerous and inconvenient, in almost every way, and it's ugly. Like it's everything's dark and wet and gross, and you know they're they're drogger and like woodland abominations uh, popping out of the ground and crawling around and stomping on you. Uh, there's poison everywhere. It's just a gross place. Um, and I realized that I I like the mountains, even though when you first get to them, they are insanely dangerous, and like, if you're lucky, you might not, but in all likelihood, you're gonna die a few times. Um, probably get jumped by a couple of wolves, or some drakes are gonna hit you, and you're gonna start freezing, or you'll encounter a, uh, a stone golem, and not really know how to, how to fight those yet. Um, but at least it's pretty. You know, like, yeah, the mountains are super dangerous and they're kind of scary when you first get to them. 
but they are absolutely beautiful. The music in them is awesome, and it's just, you know, aside from the scariness of the things that want to kill you and freezing to death, it's actually a really pretty place. Um, and once you're able to survive here, I mean, it's beautiful. It, it's a really cool place to hang out. So I like the mountains a lot. I, and I feel like the, uh, like, I don't know. I feel like in terms of the biome itself, I would actually almost put the mist lands a little bit. I'd, I'd put it between how I feel about the mountains and the, uh, and the swamp because same thing, like the mist lands are really, they're really dangerous. Actually, they're cool and you get a lot of cool stuff from them. Um, like the ability to do magic and this sweet feather cape that I have been taking, you know, uh, full advantage of using. Um, but, and they, they added, you know, like the Diverger are a new, uh, like a new faction, I guess, like kind, kind of an NPC neutral faction, uh, who will, They'll, like, fight the bugs and stuff, but if you piss them off, they will then attack you. So that's kind of a cool wrinkle to the game. Um, and you get a lot of really cool stuff. But, like, it's so dangerous there. And um, because you... Obviously, it's um, it's the mist lands. Uh, you know, sometimes it can be hard to see stuff <laughs> in that biome, even with your, uh, with your wisp following you around because like it only clears away the mist in your immediate area so um you can still have like a ton of mist like all over the entire map that your own little wisp still won't uh completely clear away so in that regard it can be a little annoying trying to traverse the mist lands and there are so many rocky spires and stuff that like Again, before you get the feather cape, like you're probably gonna fall off of something and end up dead. So, as far as the biome itself, yeah, I think I still like the mountains better because I don't know. It's not quite as dangerous. Like even with Mistlands level armor, if you get jumped by enough things in the Mistlands, like yeah, you're you're gonna die. All the enemies there are tough. Like no matter what point you are in the game. So. Anyway, I guess the same thing could be said for any of the biomes in Valheim, like depending on your level and uh, or like what level of armor and weapon you're using. But yeah, the mountains are absolutely gorgeous. And when you know, and again, when prepared for them, I, I love hanging out in them. When you're when you're equipped to survive in the mountains, super cool place to hang out. Coins over here. <gasps> there are. Give me those coins. All right. All righty. Uh, you know, what time is it? Okay, real time. It is eleven o'clock ish. So this actually might be a good time to go ahead and call it. I will, I'm going to run up to kind of a flatter area, well, flat-ish, eh, maybe up here, if I can eventually run. I don't like uh, not having my rested bonus, <laughs> you lose stamina so quickly. Okay, yeah, this is great, nice little, nice little flat, little uh, cropping off the rock. Crafting table, portal, explore. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll head back through the. Oh wait, uh, oh that is, oh it's a skeleton. No thank you. Yeah, let me just head back through the portal. Uh, drop off my stuff after the the random adventuring that we did, which I actually quite enjoyed. Um, then we can, we can call it a night. Let's call it a night. 
Good night. Don't let the frost bite. Bye. Name that movie. This actually might be a bit of a hot take, but I feel like uh, in the Frozen movies, the cast member who has the best voice is actually Jonathan Groff. Jonathan Gr is that his name? Jonathan Groff? Uh, plays Kristoff. I actually think he has the best voice out of any of them. That doesn't mean that any of their voices are bad. Um, but like, you know, like Adina Menzel has that, she's got that signature, like I don't even know how to describe it except that her voice is just powerful, you know? Uh, it is, it is just an insanely, uh, strong, full, powerful voice. But like, you know, it's got a distinct tone to it. Jonathan Groff, that dude's got just a very, very pure, pure voice. Uh, but but it's also a strong voice. Um, he's, a, he's a good singer. And I feel like it's a shame that in the first Frozen movie, uh, he did not get... He, he had that one like little 45 second bit where he was singing with Sven, which is cute. But uh, I, they should have let him sing more. That's kind of my hot take. I, I actually feel like he has the best voice out of any of the cast members. That being said, though, you know, uh, Kristen Bell also has a gorgeous voice. She has a very pretty voice. She, she also has that kind of, um, like Becca has described it as sweet. She's like, Kristen Bell just has like, just like a sweet voice. Uh, very pure, sweet sounding. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. So, uh, oh. Off me. Oh, shoot. Wait, oh, my gosh. You nerds, get away from me. Oh. <laughs> I blocked that guy so well that uh, the game had to remove assets and I froze time. But anyway. Enough jabbering on about Frozen and about stopping the space-time continuum with such a sweet block. Let's go to sleep. Oh, that way the next time I hop in, it'll be daytime. And I, we can continue an adventure. Um, again, th thanks for tuning in tonight. Sorry it didn't work out with Enshrouded. I, I am glad that I was able to, you know, on the fly... And get the stream, you know, swapped over to Valheim. I, I know that that's not some amazing technical marvel, but that is not something I had encountered before. So, uh, I am actually pretty happy that it, it ended up working out the way that it did. Um, that, again, you know, switching over to Valheim, like, you know, it, uh, it ended up working out. So, um, anyway, I hope, I hope I'm able to get uh, figure out what's going on with Enshrouded. I mean, it might be one of those things where, you know, uh, that that game's specs have outgrown my my little PC. Uh, but we will see. But in any case, I enjoyed it. I, I love Valheim. I'll hop in here anytime. Um, and I will see you in the next stream. It could be Minecraft. Uh, it could be Enshrouded. Or it could be Valheim if Enshrouded craps out again. But in any case, it's been a lot of fun. I hope you have a great rest of your night, and I will see you in the next stream.